What's happening peeps and peepets, I hope you guys are ready for this video um, to give you guys a heads up what is going to come uh, obviously right now we are, well I don't know if that's obviously but uh, we are now having a uh, Kobayashi Maru uh, weekend event and at the end of this event, can we get a calendar up? Where are we? We are right here. We are at uh, 17th of January. So we got, uh, so today is uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and Monday as well. If you have, um, if you have a little bit uh, time left, because this thing is only going to be available uh, for the next three days and 22 hours and 35 minutes uh, at the time of this recording, obviously, you are going to get a... Um, a, a weekend voucher each time you're going to participate in the event and the event by itself has 20 hours cooldown so you can basically do the entire event like five days in a row if you time it correctly and after you're going to get enough of these vouchers now i currently have seven because i farmed ahead of time like you know a couple of other um events by doing this so you're going to or at least the event that we are going to do um no, sorry, I'm saying it wrong. The reward that for the event that is currently going on is going to be this thing right here. The Prolonged Engagement Photon Torpedo. So if we go to more information, we are going to see Inspired by the Cadet Trick to cheat, uh, to cheat victory in a no-win scenario, the Prolonged Engagement Set of gear accumulates excess energy from battle and puts it to a useful purpose. The cadet simulated uh, gear set produced pro huh? produced produced? That's basically a typo. A devastating photonic cascading torpedo inspired by a real prototype and a securely revised of the no-win situation. The prolonged engaged torpedo starts out with a slow rate of fire then uh, Compriate, compre, I don't know how to pronounce this, torpedo, but gain speed is combat uh, uh, continuous. Each discharge of the launcher carries a 20% charge uh, to grant plus 10, plus 10 in armor penetration to the firing starship of 8 seconds, with 100% chance of a, a bridge officer torpedo powers. Wow, okay. So plus 10 in armor penetration and also for uh, the next eight, 8 seconds, 100% chance of a, um, a reduction in, in... Wait, I need to read that again. Launcher scale 20% chance to grant plus 10 in armor to the firing starship for 8 seconds. Okay, so for the next 8 seconds you're going to get plus 20% in armor penetration with a 20% chance of that actually going through. All right. Um, torpedoes are highly damaged projectile and efficient against starship hull. Both shields absorb most of the impact. So this is basically said, make sure that the enemy doesn't have any shield before this thing is going to hit. If it has uh, just a sliver of uh, shield hit points, I think it's uh, going to be uh, going to be reducted in 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 its kinetic uh, damage output by seventy percent. Guys, correct me if I'm mistaken. But I believe it is 70%, but you guys can correct me in the comment section below. Um, so target for 180 targeting arcs, so basically a lot with 10 kilometer range with 9 second in recharge. Okay, that's, that's fairly decent. Dealing 2,897.9 kinetic damage with 312 damage per second was also giving plus 10 in accuracy rating. And also plus 20 cents to add that whole penetration for the next eight seconds. Uh, applies one stack of the overclowed loaders. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. We are going to find out. Stacks can give weapons 1% in firing cycle haste with a maximum of 15 stacks. So you can gain at 15 stacks plus 15 in firing cycle haste, meaning you're going to be able to fire. A lot more faster if you have enough weapon power in your uh, in your ship. Nice, very nice. Uh, skill abilities that affect uh, this thing is going to be weapon training and projectile weapon training. Now I'm going to purchase this thing and uh, 
you and I are going to see this thing in action. So to do that, I need to go to probably a patrol mission or something like that and then uh, show it off uh, how it is going to fire. If it has any visuals or anything like that. And um, yeah, let's see how it uh, how it actually goes. So I'll be right back. What does it say? You acquired the prolonged engagement to reap. You have unlocked this item. <laughs> that went too fast. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, you've unlocked this item for all of the other characters on this account. Just visit the weekend, uh, the weekend event uh, store to claim it on them. But anyway, I'll be right back. So for the purpose of showing off this torpedo in action, I'm going to do Japori. It's basically the closest one that I could find. You know, guys, I'm lazy that way. <laughs> now, I am going to change it with my normal torpedo. Um, now, as I've seen, this thing is um, part of a space set. So if you have all three pieces of this thing, um, so you basically need a phaser beam array, the torpedo and their power uh, dynamo. That's also part of a um, uh, weekend uh, event thingy. Or at least you should have them <laughs> already. Uh, if you equip both sets, this is going to be the endurance training, 7.5% recharge time reduction to all bridge officer abilities. So that is definitely cool. If you're if you're um, looking for a phaser build, this thing is going to be a beast. If you equipped it on your um, in your uh, in your ship. Now, me personally, I'm using a um, disruptor build, so not really, yeah, I need to, maybe need to look up into another build, but maybe switch over to phasers, but disruptors right now is, you know, um, it's a little bit where I'm going for, but anyway, if you have all three pieces, you're going to get the photonic cascading torpedo or cascade torpedo, activating the power dynamo causes the next prolonged engagement, uh, engagement torpedo launcher to be a photonic cascading torpedo this will deal plus 25 percent bonus damage so that's category two for five seconds out uh, off of the combat durations this reaches 400 to 400 percent total damage after one minute what <laughs> so if you are in a really long combat uh, scenario where you have you basically are starting off really low in damage output and then gain after one minute the 400 percent out of this torpedo this photonic cascade torpedo oh my god and after five minutes, <laughs> one thousand six hundred percent. So basically, one hit everything <laughs> in in range. That's crazy. But I'm going to show you guys how this thing is going to be uh, performing in action. Now I need to disable all of my auto firing, and only this is going to fire right now. Now, like we said, this is a one hundred eighty degree firing uh, arc. So everything in that vicinity is going to fire. But anyway, uh, this is how it looks like uh, visually. So just a normal torpedo. Didn't actually do anything because that ship has shields on it. And it's not going to... Yeah. It's not going to do anything. I do have... Do I have... Yep, yeah, I have torpedo spread in combination with this thing doing a little bit of damage so with my particular build and I'm not saying you guys should look at this but it's just giving you a little bit of information uh, my particular build is not really good to display this thing in its full potential but as you guys know I don't have any um, uh, skill points allocated to you know in space or ground I'm just using this thing as you know as as what's the word as as naked as it can be <laughs> without actually having any, any equip to do with you know enhancing this torpedo so at basic level this thing is going to deal out 4076 kinetic damage plus standing accuracy and also that plus 20% to adding plus 10 in hope penetration for the next um, 8 seconds. That applies the stacks of the overlo overclocked loaders. 
uh, with the 1% firing cycle haste with a maximum of uh, 15 stacks. There we go. I think I got it. No. Yep, I did get him. Overload stacks that was right there. Because we basically killed that guy. Oh man, that torpedo went right out of the uh, out of the map. But this is um, this is what you, me, everybody is going to get at the end. Now it is upgradable. Um, right here, there is the option to upgrade it. Um, personally, I'm not going to do that because, well, let me just see. Um, Right now it is like uh, level less. It's basically going to auto level with whatever uh, level your character is. And if you basically start upgrading this thing, I think it's going to be Mark to Mark Ten or something like that. Um, if you want to go that route, yeah, it's Mark Twelve. And you can go all the way up to you know whatever uh, fancy you have. Right now, all of these have like um, just the default modifiers to them, so accuracy and damage times two. Now, obviously, can you? No. What? You cannot change the modifiers? Wow, that's not good. But you can upgrade it. You can upgrade this thing all the way to Mark 15 Epic. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it entertaining. Uh, let me just go out of the uh, system because it's a little bit too many of pew 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 going on right now. Um, anyway, I hope you guys found it a little bit of uh, entertainment uh, out of this video. I hope you guys found it informative to uh, to see what you guys are going to get and what you guys are striving for at the end of the day that is what we are going to you know to have this uh, torpedo for so a couple of days a couple of like kobayashi marus and you are going to get this as a reward so thank you for watching i would love to see you guys on the next video take care for now and later